Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, this uh, wrestling thing. Lucky to be here announcing this match we have today. Where's where are we? Why are we fighting? We should all like get together, sing a song. Hey, get away from there! Uh oh. Got a skedaddle. What was that guy doing over there? Just out for some drinks here? Coffee? Sorry about that, folks. Welcome to Domination. I'm Mad Viking. Dirk Mahoney, am I? This match we have here tonight is going to be in the books as one of the most brutal matches ever in Domination history. You may not know it yet, but it checks out on what we call the Demon Death Match. Organized by current Dominator Mordekis, he's going after the cold hearted, Frosty treat salesman, the Ice Cream Man. What would be a deathmatch without deadly specifics? The ring itself is caged, the ropes barbed wire. First up, we have Dominator Mordecus. Mordecus is one of the DJs of Don Radio and part of the heavy metal trifecta. His specialty of fighting is composed of hellish electricity, which he calls his electrokinesis. His ultimate move is the Gigabolt. And then we have the Ice Cream Man. He was a product of being summoned upon a failed satanic ritual. His real name, Ariok. He donned the ice cream mat persona with a clean white suit, a red tie, and a mask made of the skin of those who summoned him. He fights with cold precision using ice manipulation and his skills. His ultimate move is the ice cream truck. Now, that's the gist of the two. We bring you live with Finny on the scene. Finny? <sighs> All right, Finny, you can do this. This ice cream bastard won't scare you this time. You're a great white shark, damn it! Be the shark! Act like a shark! Show your fangs! Show the cunt who's boss in the blue! Ah! It, oh, damn! Have you guys been here the whole time? Oh, bloody hell, mate! Just give me a minute. Okay, there we go. Good day, Colbus! Finny here! This spectacular event for tonight's going to be a snort ripper for the two mice that are rough house in the blue! First, we have Mordekis. It's glad to see you back in action after your win as the Dominator of 2019. I bet you're excited to be back in the ring to take down your opponent with a good old gigabolt, eh? Yeah, but you know, Finny, in this sort of thing, you gotta be a bit savvy sometimes. Sure, I proved that I was not an easy opponent to face in the ring when I won Domination. But now, I'm aware that all eyes are on me, and those people getting in line to face me will study my every move and weaknesses. So, if I want to defend my title, I need to find new tricks. Lucky me, I got plenty of tricks. Oi, glad to hear that, mate. And since you're fighting with another demon, my best bet is that Hellfire's gonna cover all over the place. Or at least inside the ring for that matter. Eh, hey, I was the one who asked for that specific setting, so I'm gonna use it to my advantage, that's right. Nice. Good luck to you, Mr. Mordekis. Now we have... Have... Have what, Finny? Have the future winner of this demon death match? Go ahead and say it. I can already sense your fear just from looking at you. Oh, hell, mate. So, Mr. Ice Cream Man, a uh, demon such as yourself is pretty excited to go against another? To say I'm excited is an understatement. I am enthralled, exhilarated, filled with glee. My smile couldn't be any wider. Oh, keep doing that in your mask will rip off, or at least what's under it. Inside this great ice cream man's soul is nothing but just extravagant curiosity and anticipation. Outside is this cheery man that will win domination. Mordecai should be ready for a fight to remember so well. Cause that's where he shall cower back in hell. Uh, um, uh, 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 nice poetry. That was a two forward days here tonight. Back to you, man and dick. Arigato Fini, coming up next we have the Demon Deathmatch.
Five foot six, 132 pounds. It's the demon of black metal, your dominator, Mordecus! In the flesh. Six foot two, 200 pounds. It's the soft serve salesman, the ice cream man! Hello! Oh, isn't this just fun? It's like we're in a little dollhouse made of cold steel. Okay, you need to know the rules. Go clean fight. It's your call to do some demonic stuff, but don't kill anyone. Salute. I'm half demon. I only half kill people. Let's get ready to dominate! The Demon Death Match has begun. Mordecai started off with his hands on a caged wall, conducting electricity to spread his electrokinesis all over the cage. Ice Cream Man should be considering bringing a rubber suit for this, otherwise his soft serve will turn crispy. I hope you don't mean like the rubber suit's fat. Oh, never mind. Ice Cream Man's going in for it as he's shooting a couple of ice shards at Mordecai, but Mordecai swerves away as he inches in close to Ice Cream Man. He's got him by the neck. Ooh, he just slammed Ice Cream Man's back into those barbed wires. His clothes are stuck to those sharp edges, giving Mordecai a chance to give him a couple curb stomps. Mordecai's foot got grabbed by the Ice Cream Man. He's freezing his hand to keep it right in Mordecai's boot as he's hopping on one leg. What are you trying to do? How's it about to swirl? The Ice Cream Man just gave Mordecai a dragon screw into a full Nelson submission hole. Mordecai is using his wits to conduct the electricity to zap Ice Cream Man away from him, giving him an electric shock right on his back. The Ice Cream Man's arcing around doing some kind of weird electric pain dance move. That'd be a hit in the minefield. Mordecai switched sides with the Ice Cream Man. He's coming over to get him a chokehold conducting electricity. He finished it off with a choke slam. This won't be pretty as Mordecai threw him over the top turnbuckle to face another attack. Mordecai made a run for it. He drunk kicked the Ice Cream Man back. He's broken in half! What a devastating blow from the strongest in domination. Wait, he's getting back up and he's holding his back. The Ice Cream Man's giving Mordecai that menacing smile as he's walking towards him. Mordecai has got a shocking attack ready, bringing out the electrokinesis with a bolt of lightning. But Ice Cream Man ducked it. The Ice Cream Man leapfrogged over to where Mordecai was, making a leg sweep trying to bring him down. But Morcus just jumped up to grab the top wall of the cage. Ice Cream Man using that time to summon some stalagmites from the ring and try to poke and prod Morcus from the top of it. But he's climbing all around to avoid them like he's on the monkey bar. Are you afraid yet, Morticus? You look like you already are. That will pack quite a punch for my new ice cream flavor. The Ice Cream Man's jumping up to the top of the cage, climbing after him. His hands are getting cold, literally. He's freezing his hands and the steel cage too. This cold steel is rushing over to Mordecai and covering his hands. But Mordecai isn't having any of it as he conducts electricity around him to melt the icy sheath developing around him. Mordecai is sending his elemental electrokinesis back at him, causing Ice Cream Man to drop from the cage as he tends to his burned hands. Ow! My poor soft serve serving hands. Be glad it's only your hands. And that was the first round. We'll be right back with the next round coming up in Domination. Welcome back to the second round. What we saw here so far is that Mordecai got the Ice Cream Man Thunderstruck. And Ice Cream Man got Mordecai Iced Iced Baby. Ew. But the gist of it was that they both used the cage to the abilities, freezing it, boiling it, climbing it, etc. Ice Cream Man better watch out soon for what Marcus will do to him. He might bring out the Gigabolt to finish him off. Fiery flames, crystal ice, an equal amount of warmth to be suffice. I'm afraid that this victory shall be mine, friend. Your streak of becoming champion will soon be put to an end. Ah, I hate poetry. The second round has started. The Ice Cream Man is starting off with icy hands, swirling around him to become Snowball Sockenboppers. 
More fun than a pit fight, I guess. He's charging at Morticus with a haymaker, but Morticus moved out of the way. And he breaks the ice cream man's arm with a knee right to the elbow. He's shrieking in pain as the ice around his hand melts away. Morticus is using that time to his advantage as he's giving Ice Cream Man rounds and rounds of punches right across his torn up face and a headbutt at the end to send him to the ground. Just as Morticus was up, put him in a submission hole, the Ice Cream Man slapped Morticus away, giving him something to remember with snowflakes across his face. Morticus didn't take light lightly, grabbing him by the arms to run around. He's dragging the poor Ice Cream Man back onto the floor. I'm starting to think about to do something pretty damaging to the Ice Cream Man. I can sense it from my beard. Wait, your beard is sentient too? Nope, but what can I tell you? It requires science. If you create fiction, say dragging your socks around a carpet rapidly for a long time, that's where you create what's called static electricity. Ice cream for me, loser. And there you have it, the ice cream man is stuck to the barbed wire. Morticus is bringing up electricity to send shocks after shocks of electricity to the soft serve salesman. Exercising the demonic soul out of him. His limbs are spatting about, taking up all the electric pain. Have you forgotten how the nine gates of hell works, Morticus? The deeper it goes, the colder it gets. The ice cream man has developed an ice sheath around him, surrounding himself in a frozen block of ice like Aang from the last airbender. Little did he know that cold temperatures only make the electricity work faster. Morticus still has that static cling to his advantage, melting the backside to keep the momentum going. He's pushing the ice cream man to the other side to crack his shell into a thousand pieces. The ice cream man still holding onto that icy covering. Does he have a death wish? Now that's what I call cryoshock. Lightning and thunder with a pitch of hell, that's what's going to make the ice cream man lose this fast with just ice manipulation. But then again, I heard that electric doesn't do well at times when it's overworked. Morticus's electrokinesis is waning from the looks of it. Is he getting tired? <laughs> what's wrong, Morticus? Do you need to chill out? And just like that, the thunderbolts have depleted into nothing more than a joy buzzer. Ice Cream Man's getting up, he's grabbing Morticus, and he's giving him a power bomb. Morticus isn't looking too hot, he's looking like he just ran through a ton of bricks. Ice Cream Man just standing with that creepy smile, waiting for Morticus to do something. Morticus gave him some wimpy punches at the stomach. This is not going to be so well. Ice Cream Man pushed him out to the floor. He's putting him on a Boston crab. Morticus is suffering from the twisting pain from the Ice Cream Man. He's trying really hard to get out of that submission hole, but he's putting more pressure on him. Only way he can try to get out is to grab of the rope or a slap to the floor. Morticus is crawling with his hand to the closest bar he can get to. He's pulling inch by inch. Oh, no, you won't. Ice Cream Man's dragging him away, making Morticus's progress for a rope break all for naught. Now it seems he's letting him go, which is pretty gracious of the Ice Cream Man to do that. Looks like he's about to... Ah! Just as Morticus was about to get up, Ice Cream Man gave Morticus a curb stomp right to the head. He's still down. Oh, the absolute carnage! How much can Morticus take? He's dealt with such harsh attacks from this cold-hearted man, and any more he's just done for. Morticus is getting up, but he's still hurt all around. He has a table turned against him all the way from the electric attacks to the painful dealings of the soft-serve salesman. And that was the second round. We'll be right back with the final round, which will determine who will win domination. Welcome back. If you hadn't heard, that second round was amazing. Morticus had the upper hand in one part with his electricity, using his ability of static cling. The sides changed, however, as Ice Cream Man used his ice powers to make Morticus overheat and tire him out. Afterwards, Ice Cream Man delivered a new flavor of ice cream to him, which was pain-flavored. You know, Morticus is French, so pain-flavored ice cream to him is just bread. Is there such a thing as bread-flavored ice cream? Dunno, but a Google search won't hurt. Oh, there it is. Oh, one with sprinkles. Oh, someone's a little sleepy. Want me to tuck you into bed, little angel? Why, you're the Sandman now? The final match has started. Morticus has recovered, but he's still tired from what happened in the last round. It looks like Ice Cream Man's got something up his sleeve. He's freezing out a portion of the cage and knocking a hole out of it. 
I think he's gonna bring in the ice cream truck. Time for the finale. <laughs> Mordek is confused on what's going on, seeing why the ice cream man brought out an ice cream truck into the deathmatch. He's prepared on what's come because that ice cream truck is no ordinary vehicle. Man, those Decepticons are really desperate these days. Mordekus is trying to fight back with just a fragment of his electric powers, but each attempt brings him closer to the ice cream truck. It's all over. Ice Cream Man just needs to trap him inside. Well, that settles it. Time to chop up this demon into pieces for my new ice cream flavor. They'll cheer with glee of this sugary treat with a shock of sugar. Well, the ice cream man has got him. He's opening up a pit of hell on the floor of the ring. Huh? The truck's starting to shake. My, my. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> The truck and pushed him into the ice cream man down into the pits of hell! The two fighters are in a free fall, falling down into the fiery pits of hell itself. They're grappling each other, punching each other over and over on their way down as they slam into brimstone and molten rock. Alright, you mofo. Enough of this game. The audience wants to see me do what I do best. Come on, the demon of black metal! The two are exchanging punches as they're whooshing by each other. Ice Cream Man's got Morticus and Full Nelson. But Morticus lead him away. Ice Cream Man's conducting something from a far distance. He's throwing ice spikes towards him. Morticus shielding himself from the ice spikes. Taking a few to the body. He's sending some thunderbolts back at him. Just as the two are going in, they already passed four gates of hell already. Oof. Ice Cream Man's face was pelted with a shot of electrokinesis, melting away that fleshy mask and showing his true face. He's not taking it lightly, though. He's making a beeline towards Mordecai, skydiving after him with a clothesliner. Ice Cream Man's dragging him down to a huge rock floor. You're the Dominator, aren't you? Show me, then! Just as the two are on that rock, they're continuing to beat each other's face off. Jabs and counters, bobs and weaves. They're... They're close to falling off into a huge lake of lava! Mordecai's just got delivered a jab to the face and finished with a huge headbutt. He's knocked out cold. Ice Cream Man's got him in a chokehold and drags him to the edge of that rock. This is the way your life ends, Mordecai. Not with a cry, but with a shriek. For. Ice Cream Man has done it. He has finished off the Dominator. He's got whatever that thing is attached to his truck latched onto himself and he's dragging himself back up. We have a new winner, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Dominator, the Ice Cream Man. Thank you all, thank you all so very much. You're all too kind. I'd like to thank a few people for my victory of this match. I'd like to thank you all for cheering on this jovial man. And the boss. For we have just what we need for this revolution. Isn't that right, Ms. Beatboxer? Yep. Just what we need. What? The Ice Cream Man and Beatbox are doing some sort of facade with this revolution thing. What are they on about? <laughs> Hail Golgotha! Hail Golgotha! 
Mr. Viking, I have a bad feeling about this. I think we have a menacing part of domination we didn't expect coming. I agree. Well, that was the match for tonight. I'm Mad Viking. And I'm Dirk Mahoney. And this was Don Manasa. Stay safe, Millennium City, and good night.